Bonjour my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Glove Foodie. Easter is a well-celebrated religious holiday. There are a lot of traditions during this time and that includes food. From one country to another, there are recipes to highlight this event, like hot cross buns, mahamu, tsuraki, pasca, Easter eggs, and many other dishes, including this delicious one from Italy. In today's episode, I'll show you my take on Torta Pasqualina, which is an Easter pie. This is so tasty, as well as healthy. With spinach and kale, along with other fresh ingredients, a ricotta, and a few eggs, this colorful savory pie is certainly a showstopper when it's sliced. Mm -hmm. So my friends, let's get cooking! In a large pot over medium-high heat, we'll add a couple tablespoons of butter. And when it's melted and starts sizzling, we'll add the baby spinach leaves. Here, I'm using two bags of 10 ounces each, so I'll add a bag at a time to the pot to wilt them. We'll cover and set the timer for two minutes, but every 30 seconds or so, we'll stir well and cover after each time. You'll see how fast the spinach is going to wilt. It really doesn't take that long, but if you think it might need a few seconds longer, leave them in. When the leaves are done, using a spider strainer, we'll transfer them to a colander sitting over a bowl so they can drain. We'll now add the second bag and repeat the same steps, which are cover, set the timer for two minutes, and stir every 30 seconds. When this batch is done, we'll add the kale and repeat the same process, except we'll go for four minutes instead of two. Now, because its leaves are thicker, they won't release as much water, so to prevent them from sticking or burning, we'll take the liquid that drained from the spinach leaves and pour it in the pot. That's why I cooked the spinach first. Like we did earlier, we'll transfer the kale to the colander along with the spinach and let them cool off for 10 minutes. By the way, this is how much liquid that was left in the pot. Next to nothing. When the leaves are cool enough to handle, working in batches, we'll transfer them to a thin clean dish towel, gather the corners, and squeeze out as much liquid as possible. For a perfect torta pasqualina, you need to have your greens quite dry. Otherwise, the bottom crust will be soggy. When this step is done, We'll transfer them to a cutting board and chop them into very small pieces, including the stems. Then we'll set them aside. Now, in a large skillet over medium heat, we'll add two tablespoons of olive oil. And when it gets hot, we'll add onions that we finely diced and sprinkle on a couple pinches of ground sea salt. We'll saute them until soft. That should take about six minutes, as long as we make sure not to brown them. To be on the safe side, we can always add another tablespoon of oil. Now, halfway through cooking, we'll add red peppers. Not only will they bring some sweetness to the dish, but also color. So we'll saute our ingredients until soft, about two to three minutes, before adding pressed garlic which will saute for only 30 seconds. We'll transfer the veggies to a bowl and set them aside while we move on to the next step. Using the same skillet, we'll add one and a half tablespoons of oil, and as soon as it gets hot, we'll dump in the greens. We'll season generously with ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll saute them for five minutes, enough to warm them up. We'll remove from the heat and transfer the leaves to a large bowl and set aside as well. Now, in a mixing bowl, we'll add ricotta cheese, 
half a cup of grated Parmesan, then one large egg, followed by freshly grated nutmeg, some of my homemade Italian seasoning, which you can get the recipe by clicking on the top right corner of your screen, and then fresh chopped parsley. We'll add the vegetable mixture to it and stir the ingredients very well until nicely blended, seasoning the mixture with more ground sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Now, we'll add the cheese mixture to our greens and, of course, stir until well incorporated. I know the mixture is not conventional, but when you look at it, it resembles the Italian flag. Green, white, and red. So there. <laughs> we'll then set it aside while we do the next step. We'll add just a little bit of oil into a 9-inch springform pan and brush everywhere, including the sides, before flouring the bakeware uniformly, covering the sides and the bottom. Then, set aside. Now, we'll do a shortcut. We'll be using puff pastry. Since I started Club Foodie, I don't have the time to make the traditional dough, and when I switch it to puff pastry, I actually prefer it because it adds a nice buttery flavor to the pie. As I said earlier, this is my version of Torta Pasqualina, so please, Italian community, don't hate me because on the website, I share the recipe to make the real dough. So after rolling it down to about a quarter inch thick, we'll place it in our prepared springform pan. We'll spoon a ricotta green leaf mixture into the pan and level it out with the back of our spoon. Then we'll create five big wells. I like to do four around and another one in the middle. Now we'll carefully place an egg in each of them. The best way is to crack an egg in a small bowl and then slip it into each divot. <laughs> Guess what one of my favorite sports is? <laughs> All right, then we'll evenly sprinkle on the remaining half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Next, we'll trim the dough. This is how I do mine because I don't want a thick crust, but it can also be trimmed about one inch down. That way, the crust will be thicker. Before we go further, to get that gorgeous visual when you slice into the baked pie is to cut right in the middle of an egg. And finding it is like hide and seek. So to save the trouble, make a little mark in the crust or find a spot on your springform pan as a point of reference. Okay? We'll place the other puff pastry sheet on top Trim any excess dough and fold the edges together. I like it somewhat rustic looking, so I don't go too fancy and leave it like this. To let the steam escape while baking, we'll make a small cut in the middle of the pie using a sharp knife and then brush on the top, including the edges, with an egg wash, which is simply an egg and a tablespoon of water beaten together. Next, we'll transfer the pie to a 400 degree preheated oven and bake for 55 to 60 minutes or until very well browned. We'll remove from the heat and let it cool for 30 minutes before removing the springform pan and slicing. It can be served warm or at room temperature. And my friends, this is our Torta Pasqualina. Colorful, festive, and delicious, this Italian Easter dish is a great recipe to make for the occasion. It's a healthy, savory pie that everyone will love. Highlight this religious holiday by making this tasty classic. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!